Let's go ahead and do an example of calculating pressure or force or area using metric. <coughs> so as we look through this, it says the piston has a diameter of 40 millimeters, and we don't want to exceed a pressure of 3,500 kPa. What's the maximum force that this system can, can withstand? Okay. Remember that pressure equals force over area. So that means for us, when we solved this before, force is going to have to equal pressure times area. Okay? We will first step, as usual, calculate the area. Area is going to be pi d squared over 4. Let's go ahead and plug this in. So let's just for quick sake. 3.14 is what we'll use for pi times, remember this is in millimeters, we have to be in meters, so we move the decimal place three points to the left, so this is going to be point zero four zero millimeters, and we are going to, or I'm sorry, millimeters to meters, so it's point zero four zero meters squared, and we have to divide that before. When we do that, we have 0 0.001257. All right, and that ends up being meters squared. That's an ugly seven. All right, so first step, always find area with the majority of these problems. Next, we have the pressure, and now we have the area, so we're good. So force equals, and we're just plugging in here. So pressure right here is 3,500 kPa, but remember K is another three zeros. So this is 3,500, zero, zero. that's our K, but since we need to be in Pascals to do this calculation, we add the three zeros, and keeping with our units, this is Newton meters squared times our area, which is zero, zero, one, two, five, seven meters squared, let me use a point here. This is our multiplication, so we're not getting everything confused. So it's going to be this times this, this pressure times this force. Okay, notice our units of meters squared cancel out. And when we do this calculation, we should end up with roughly 4399 newtons, or 4399 newtons.